Ready to unleash the full power of your Ryzen 9 7900X? The right motherboard is the difference between a good build and a truly great one. If you're building a high-performance rig around the AMD Ryzen 9 7900X, you know that your motherboard is the backbone of your system. In this video, I'll be sharing my hands-on experience with four of the best motherboards for the Ryzen 9 7900X. We'll look at real-world performance, features, and even some of the drawbacks you should know before buying. Whether you're a gamer, a content creator, or a power user, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which board deserves a spot in your next build. 4. MSI MAG X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi MSI's Tomahawk series has always been about delivering solid performance and value, and the X870 model is no exception. This full ATX board is built with a robust 14 plus 2 plus 1 power phase design, supporting up to 256 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM at speeds north of 8400 second. You get next-gen features like USB 4, Wi-Fi 7, and 5 gig per second LAN, ensuring your system is ready for the future. One of the first things I noticed during testing was just how easy this board is to work with. The easy release features for both PCIe and M.2 slots are genuinely helpful when you're swapping out GPUs or SSDs. The BIOS is smart and intuitive, with plenty of options for tweaking performance, and the connectivity is impressive for the price point. Dual USB 4 ports, loads of USB-A, and a strong networking suite. However, there are some trade-offs. While you get two PCIe 50x4 M.2 slots, the board skips a PCIe X1 slot, which slightly limits expansion for those who rely on add-in cards. Also, the rear I.O. includes several USB 2.0 ports, which feel a bit outdated in a modern build. The color scheme is fairly utilitarian. MS sticks to a subdued look, which may not appeal to everyone, especially if you're aiming for a more vibrant or themed build. Performance-wise, the Tomahawk X870 holds its own. In gaming and productivity tests, it kept pace with pricier boards, and the VRM cooling was more than adequate for the Ryzen 9 7900X, even under sustained loads. Number 3. Gigabyte X870E Aorus Pro Ice This board makes a statement with its striking silver ice design, making it a perfect fit for white-themed builds. But it's not just about looks. You get a robust 16 plus 2 plus 2 VRM configuration, support for up to 256 gigs of DDR5 RAM at 8000 plus MMT second, and three PCIe 5.0 capable M.2 slots, something rarely seen at this price point. What really stands out is the build quality. The board feels solid, with reinforced PCIe slots and comprehensive thermal armor covering all the critical components. During my tests, the Aorus Pro Ice delivered excellent CPU temps, even when pushing the Ryzen 9 7900X with heavy workloads. The inclusion of Wi-Fi 7 and 2.5 GBE LAN ensures you're set for fast, reliable networking, and the dual USB 4 Type-C ports on the rear I.O. are a major plus for high-speed peripherals. Gigabyte's DIY-friendly features, like the easy latch system for tool-free installation of GPUs and M.2 drives, make building and upgrading a breeze. The BIOS is user-friendly, and I appreciated the detailed hardware monitoring tools, including real-time VRM phase tracking. However, there are a few caveats. While the power delivery is efficient, it's not quite as beefy as some of the more premium X870e boards. The chipset and VRM heatsinks can get noticeably warm during extended stress tests, though I never encountered any thermal throttling. RGB is minimal, which is great for stealthy builds, but might disappoint RGB enthusiasts. 2. Asus ROG Strix X870A In the runner-up spot, the Asus ROG Strix X870A brings a blend of premium features and user-friendly design, all wrapped in a stunning all-white PCB. This board is built for enthusiasts who want both performance and style, supporting up to 256GB of DDR5 RAM at 8000 mecter second, PCIe 5.0 for both GPU and M.2 storage, and Wi-Fi 7 for ultra-fast wireless connectivity. From the moment I unboxed the X870A, the build quality and attention to detail were obvious. Installation was straightforward, with well-placed headers and plenty of fan and thermistor inputs for advanced cooling setups. The rear I.O. is stacked with USB ports, including dual USB 4, and the 2.5 giggy Ethernet ensures fast, stable wired networking. Performance in both gaming and productivity was top tier. 
The VRM design handled the Ryzen 9 7900X without breaking a sweat, and the board's BIOS is packed with features, though I did find that some advanced options, like Expo and PBO, are buried a bit deeper than on other brands, which could slow down first-time users. The Q-release system for the PCIe slot is a nice touch, but I found it a little less intuitive than similar solutions from competitors, especially with larger GPUs. One small drawback is the lane bifurcation issue. If you populate the second PCI FIDO M.2 slot, it shares bandwidth with the main GPU slot. For most users, the impact is minimal, but if you plan on maxing out both storage and GPU lanes, it's worth noting. Also, the lack of a Q-code display is a minor omission for troubleshooting enthusiasts. Number 1. ASUS ROG Strix X870EE Gaming Wi-Fi Taking the top spot is the ASUS ROG Strix X870EE Gaming Wi-Fi, a true flagship that leaves little to be desired. This board is engineered for serious gamers and creators, supporting Ryzen 9000, 8000, and 7000 series CPUs with an 18 plus 2 plus 2 power stage VRM, rated at 110 per stage. It supports up to 192GB of DDR5 at 8400 plus MT per second, boasts 5 M.2 slots, 3 PCIe 5.0, and delivers both Wi-Fi 7 and 5 Gibi E networking. What sets the X870EE apart is its suite of AI-powered features. AI overclocking made it easy to push my Ryzen 9 7900X to its limits, analyzing cooling and system performance to find stable, high-performance settings. AI Cooling 2 automatically balanced fan speeds and noise, keeping the system cool and quiet even during marathon gaming sessions. AI Networking 2 ensured my bandwidth was always prioritized for gaming and streaming, providing a seamless online experience. The board's layout is a builder's dream. The Q-release and Q-latch systems made installing and upgrading GPUs and NVMe drives effortless. The rear I.O. is loaded. 13 USB ports, including four Type-C, dual USB 4, and plenty of high-speed options for all your devices. The Supreme FX audio solution delivered crisp, immersive sound, and the large RGB-accented VRM heatsinks kept temps in check during heavy workloads. In terms of real-world performance, the X870EE gaming Wi-Fi excelled in every benchmark I threw at it. Memory overclocking was stable at high speeds, and the board powered the Ryzen 9 7900X to its full potential, whether gaming, streaming, or rendering video. Final thought. That wraps up my hands-on ranking of the best motherboards for the Ryzen 9 7900X. Let me know in the comments which board you'd pick for your next build, or if you have any questions about these motherboards. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth PC hardware reviews. Thanks for watching.